a bit gloomy, so I didn't get here till a bit late this morning. So I've just got really the afternoon hunt, four hours before it gets dark. Right, so I just hope this fog lifts because it's uh, gonna be a bit gloomy over there. So heading up past the oak tree up to where I finished off the last turn, got the two waypoints there. So carry on gridding the area I was, and I see quite a few thousand pigeons there just on the brow. So I hope I'm not underneath them when they go up in the air. Otherwise, it could be a few bits of uh, detritus flying around. There's a lot of pigeons there. So I've got the CTX Super Blue headphones, so we'll get it fired up and off we go. Well guys, got there in the end. It's take me three quarters of an hour to get up here. I've been uh, talking as usual to the various people on the farm. Just wondering what I've been finding recently. We've got here now and it's uh, 12.46. So we've got about three hours left. First signal, looks like we've got a coin. Hate me by the looks of it. And just for deal, there's the impression. Let's see what we've got. Probably a Vicky. Yeah, so first coin in the bag already, just the first signal. That's a good start. Well, we just got here. Oh well, obligatory moo tube, even though there's no cattle on the farms. I don't know where these come from. Well, it looks like we got another musket ball from that skirmish. Well, this one's uh, not hit anything though. It's strange how it's just all these musket balls all in this one area. So obviously they were shooting at something here. But where were they shooting from? That's what I've got to find. Well guys, that's just a boot scrape. It's a lovely tone. A oh, little bit of iron in there as well. Let's see what I can find. Still sorted out. <laughs> oh, 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 get in! Yes! Looks like we got a half grout. Yeah, just a boot scrape. Yeah, it's definitely a half grout. Get in. Do, 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 do. Do 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 hammy time. Probably one of the Edward half groats that one. Oh first hour, first hammy. Get in. There's a good bit of it bashed there though. Lost this bit of the coin. Well, it's not been recently done. It's uh, definitely a half groat. Get in. Hammy time. Well we've got another big musket ball. Looks like it's just been dropped, that one. Back in that same area where we had all the ones that were cast before. Well, it's got a bite mark on it. I've probably just bitten off the, uh, the cast there, as you see it there. Heavy things, them. They're the old ones. Yay, the sun's gone out. It's taken long enough, just over two hours now. I just got this uh, little button, I thought it was a little hammy at first, and then just thought it was a little four hole button. Oh well, we've got two hours to go yet, so let's uh, carry on. Oh well, yet another big musket ball. Third one out this area so far to go with all the other ones we've had. Another one that's been dropped by the looks of things. Oh, so I call this musket ball corner in a bit. Well, okay, guys, into the golden hour, I'm not sure if that's. Part of a brooch or not, looks like a little face on it. I don't know if it's just the light playing tricks on me or whether it's actually possibly Saxon, part of a zoomorphic brooch. But, uh, we'll have a good look at that one when we get home for the review. So we're into the golden hour now, so hopefully something nice will turn up before we go home. Well, guys, just come down for six inches there. I think I can just see it. But you see where the coil is? I'm just picking that up for four inches off the edge of the coil. The actual find is there. You can see here the beauty of the CTX of the edge detection. And I can see a big silver shiny disc. Now, what we got? Is it a button? Or is it a big shilling? I'd like it to be a shilling. Hey, it looks like a big William shilling. 
More silver, get in. There's not a lot left in that, it's well warm and smooth, but it just shows you the the beauty of the, the side detection on the, the 11 inch coil because it actually makes the coil more like 13, 14 inches when you get that sort of signal. You hear it before you actually get the coil over the top of it. Get in. Well, I've got this lovely signal, I just found this in the dirt. I want to turn it over. It's got the same pattern as that brooch we found last time. I'm just wondering if this is the other end because the brooch went over the top there and then the other part was there. And it's almost within five, six yards away from where I fine pointed the last one. I reckon I've got the other end of that brooch. That would be brilliant if I can because I match them all up then. Brilliant. Could be Saxon. I hope so. A long time since I've had a Saxon brooch. Get in. Well, the sun's going down fast on me, so I need to make a start going back towards the car. And I thought I had another silver coin then, but what is it? Oh, yeah, I have. Ha <laughs> I thought it was going to be a button. <laughs> Looks like we've got another William Schilling. But seems a bit light, this one. I think that could be a fake one. But anyway, nice little find just to finish off with, so... If I don't get anything on the way back to the car, I'll catch up with you guys at the review. Woohoo! Possible new silver. <coughs> well, you hear that one, guys? It's been chasing that round in the dirt, and I thought I'd better try and film this one because <laughs> there's a tiny little find there, and it's the right colour. Just there. And you see what that is? We've got a gold stator! Get in! That's a quarter stator, definitely Celtic. Talk about the gold in there. You beauty! Oh, I'll have to get close up of this. Absolutely stunning little coin. Look at that. I'll get my gloves off and see if we can clean it properly. God, I'm buzzing now. Just right on top of the crest of the hill. And we got, yeah, definitely a little quarter unit. Gold, get in. God, that's something that's. What a way to finish. A lovely little quarter stater. Brilliant. Get in. Oh, I made up with that. Oh, I don't know how to. <laughs> I won't be able to concentrate in the halfway to the car now. Oh well, sun's going down, so I better get this one recorded and. Get down there and try and calm down a bit. <laughs> Get in! Yes! Well, that's a nice deep one. That got me attention. Oh, probably just fell. Looks like you just got the last coin. Oh, yeah. George III. Hate me. I'm nearly back at the car. It just shows uh, there's still finds in the other parts of the fields as well. Hi guys, welcome to the review and I'm still buzzing. Not often you get uh, what I call a trifecta, gold, silver and bronze all in one hand. And that hand was just a little short one as well. Absolutely amazing. The top of the world field never let me down. And I always get a silver in here but I never expected to get the, the other bits as well. And absolutely brilliant. The last one I got was about three years ago when I had a William the Third half guinea. If you guys seen the, the video on that. Uh, that was done back on the Roman Field farm, and now I've done it on Vicarage farm, so I'm absolutely buzzing. And from the finds point of view, there was lots of lead and melty bronze in that area. As you, you've known from the previous videos, I've been gridding up and down, uh, moving across the the field from that corner where I started the, finding the hammies last time, and there with the dais a few months back, and it's really paying off. So I recommend when you get a hot spot, make sure you grid it and dig everything, every little blipping fart they can hear. <laughs> Excuse my French, I'm just still buzzing. <laughs> so, lead wise, lots of it, lots of malt and stuff. Uh, obligatory moo tube. So that aside, uh, three more musket balls. Like I said, there's been a, a lot whizzing around there, but when you look at them, I think they've been, these are, most of these have been dropped. They've been cast and dropped, so there could be just one guy sitting there, bored stiff, actually uh, just churning them out one after the other. A uh, few little buttons, eight buttons, 
and a few little bits and pieces, little uh, end of something, looks like it's off a little buckle, another little bit there, a little bit of bronze, could be could be something, oh let's come on, let's go on to the good stuff. <laughs> so we've got two coins, the bronze ones, one's a Vicky Hapney, I think the other one's a George the First Hapney. We've got this one here, um, that's definitely a William, Sil that's the silver. And then we've got the, the four finds bags to go with that. Uh, one of them is actually a fake William the Third, I think. So I'll get that cleaned up and just check it out. It does look like a fake shilling. And then we got the uh, the bronze, which was the the other end of that brooch that we found the previous hunt. Now I've got a whole brooch, I think, so I'll get them all matched up. We got the other silver. I've had another look at that. I think that's a a Scottish hammered silver, which is one from my homeland, a lot further south again. And then we've got this, oh, nearly forgot about this little um, dragoness strap end. So again, that's Saxon. And then we've got the little uh, gold little beauty. Absolutely amazing little s signal. So pure the signal that I got in the CTX with that. It's only about two or three inches down. It's uh, absolute minter by the looks of things as well. I think it could be a Remick type quartz data, but we'll just get that confirmed. It definitely looks like one. And it looks in perfect condition as well, so I'll get that cleaned up and let you guys see it in all their glory. I'm, as you can tell, I'm really buzzing. <laughs> well, we'll be going back there, that's for sure. Roman field still not ploughed, so I think we might be giving up on that this year. I'll have another look next week just to see if the, it has been ploughed. Because it, it's got to be flat. The Roman field, it's, it's a waste of time doing it, i found, when it's uh, rough ploughed. Because he, he deep ploughs it so much, it just leaves big clumps. So you have to wait till it's been rolled and seeded, and then it's ideal conditions to get in there with the CTX after the little Romans. So it's your pal Mal after a buzzing little hunt today. H happy hunting to you all. Thank you to all my new subscribers, now the old ones as well. Thank you for all your comments as usual. I'll try and apply to everyone. Ooh, I'm buzzing. <laughs> happy hunting to you all. Cheers, guys.